Hello, welcome back to the channel. So this is a video about my trip to Joy of Six Wargame Show. Now, as I've put my photo montage together, I realise I'm not taking some of the photos I wanted to do. But here we are. I've got what I've got after the event. So I was travelling down south on business of a couple of friends and we were travelling down on a Sunday for the meeting on the Monday. Realised I'd be passing Sheffield, drove in. So I only had a couple, yeah, three hours, two, three hours at the show. Really enjoyed it. It's at uh, Hallam University in Sheffield. It's been years since I was in Sheffield as well. I went to University of Huddersfield many months ago, so I was able to travel over to Sheffield. The other really nice thing was catering. It was done in the university, so it was cheap as chips, literally. So I was able to uh, get dinner on the way down. So what is a Joy of Six? So Joy of Six is a six mil war game show put on by Bacchus whose home is in Sheffield. And it's a really good exploration of what 6 mil is and what could be. So all the traders were just 6 mil traders. Wish I'd taken some more photos of the trade stands and just generally out. So he had like an atrium entrance. So there were maybe 10 games in the atrium with uh, five traders. And uh, when I first got there, I didn't realise there was another room. And I thought, oh, well, this is quite cool. Uh, a bit smaller than I expected, but actually I really enjoyed it. And then I found the other big hall with uh, like another 10 plus games and some more traders as well. So this is because it's 6 mil and I'm recording it, recording this a couple of weeks after the fact. I can't remember what all the videos were. But this is a fairly standard 6 mil table that I had set up. But not, it's not my table, but this is the sort of thing I would set my 6 mil games up. And actually, it works really well as a 6 mil. In the, in the past, I've done Ancients and Napoleonic 6 mil. I also did World War II 6 mil in the way back when. You might have seen some of my videos on the channel, but what could 6 mil be? Well, this is a, quite a spectacular 6 mil table. There's some sort of siege, river crossing, assault, a kind of seven year war period. What I really like about 6 mil is you'll, you'll see is most of the units are in unit footprints. And then this was a really interesting one. So see all these hexagonal squares. This is the uh, quest for the Golden Fleece, Jason the Golden Fleece. So each sort of seg section is uh, a linked part of the story. So you had hydras and harpies and cyclopses, all sorts of really good stuff. It just shows you what you can do with 6 mil. And yeah, more really nice. And these are big tables. And that, and that's the other thing on Six More Wargaming. On a big table, you get a real feel for armies cause division as maneuvering. This was a sort of a tank hunting game. This uh, grabbed my attention. So some pictures later on. Uh, I'm doing English Civil War, which was a War of the Three Kingdoms. And can't for life as remember who these guys were, but they were um, talking about it, talking about the rules. I was able to kind of interrogate them. Mortem and Glory. So I, when I was here, they were setting up a new battle. I'd quite like to see Mortem and Glory working. Um, unfortunately, by the time we started playing, time was running short. I was having to hit the road. The other really nice thing about Joy 6 War Game Show is there was panels and i would miss the early morning one early morning i think about 11 o'clock which is more focused about back at six mil mm -hmm. and then in the afternoon there was one at two o'clock which i sat in on which had um pete of bacchus was was sort of comparing it you had the yorkshire gamer ken riley and i forget the other two um i think it was a guy that makes six mil tables the other one earlier i showed with the river cross and he was there and somebody else who did a big world war one gun so it wasn't just questions about six mil war gaming uh, we had a few uh, comments and discussions about a few other things and actually i'm going to do a video about some of the stuff we talked about and kind of war game shows in general again you can see here just the lines of troops on the battlefield feel for what a battle looks like so 
This is uh, the Turkey War Games two Turkey War Emu Wars two D six War Gaming. Have a set of Emu Wars rules. If you don't know, it was uh, Australia just after World War One. Emus were running rampant. Some soldiers were sent out, and uh, they expanded something like forty thousand rounds of ammunition. And only killed one hundred thirty eight emus. Good game set up, but when one of the things is when you've got hexes on a board like this, you got you've got some miniatures, six mil. Could it have been a board game? Possibly. Does it kind of? Yeah, I just think it's lacking a bit as a miniatures game. We're still in the games that were sort of in the atrium. So just close up on the English Civil War units there. Like I said, quite a good long chat with those fellas. English Civil War again. And then I think this was one of the games that was back in the, uh, in the main hall as opposed to the atrium. Lots of really nice detail there. So yes, this is kind of the main hall. Now this game board was massive. Uh, Omaha Beach. I, I visited Omaha Beach last year. You might have seen the video where I talk about Omaha Beach. Omaha Beach itself is massive. So this was a real joy to behold and chat to folks about. Some of the detail that you could get. This was a samurai game using the 2d6 samurai rules i want to say that a kickstarter for six mil samurai two three years ago and uh, i'm uh, really interested in this unfortunately i didn't really uh have a chance to chat much with the folks running it um because i'm looking for a set of samurai rules for when the grand battle uh warlord atlantic stuff drops Oh, this was glorious to behold. I wish I'd, I wish I'd got uh, better pictures of the whole of the board now. So this was the Battle of Gaugamauga. Gaugamela, as uh, uh, Corin Farrell butchers in the movie Alexander. So these are the Macedonian phalanxes uh, advancing. Uh, it's, a, it's a battle I'm interested in, a period of history I love. And actually, I think Six Mil probably represents the scale of alexander's battles against the persians and the pipe blocks perfectly well again just look at that how nice these tables are looking and give you a sense of that scale of the omaha beach one behind which we could see a bit closer is the world war one i mentioned earlier and you see you've got like a school hall tables all around it Plus some traders around, so I've got a fairly traditional wargaming uh, show vibe as well. I can't remember what this battle was. Although it looked good enough for me to take a close-up view, that's for sure. To Brook, uh, again, and we are really interested and we've been doing 50 mil World War II desert warfare using rapid fire in the club. So I, I took some photos of this. Had a nice good look at this, what you can do with six mil in the desert. So the big World War One game. Uh, it was some sort of uh, allied attack on some German lines. And it even had little aeroplanes. That was a bit which first caught my attention. Now I think in terms of scale, the guy that built this and that was saying like each unit each base is representing sort of a battalion, if I remember correctly. This was Ogre. Uh, Ogre was a sci-fi set of rules where you've got like one big element and lots of uh, like robot machine, lots of individual units trying to stop it. But actually, if we talk about like the Emu War compared to this, this is a hex-based game, but actually because we built the terrain, it looks really appealing. Uh, Undaunted Battle of Britain, so I'm really interested in the board game Undaunted, especially Battle of Britain. I'm not so interested in uh, modeling like an aircraft game, but I'm sure I am interested in doing something with aircraft, and I think Undaunted Battle of Britain might scratch that itch for us. This was a nice board, I just can't remember what. 
Hammer Slammers, that's what that was. I think this was a, like an ultra modern battle. Six mil ultra or micro armor, as we called it back in the day. Uh, ultra modern. Oh, it, in fact, back in the day, it wasn't ultra modern. Back in the day, it was called Wild Gone Hot. We were still like 91, 92 when I first came across it. Um, six mil battles give you a sense of scale for the weapon systems as well. And this was, on the Wednesday when we got back up to Glasgow, this was one of our normal Wednesday night battles in the club. Well, every third Wednesday of the month we do a big battle, people join in. We reckon we got about 4,000 figures on the table. We're getting ready for a big Gettysburg event in Glasgow. If you're interested in the Epic Battles ACW, it'll be based on Gettysburg. Uh, it's going to be in October. And as a club, we roll dice. We don't think take two things too seriously. Sometimes get some of the rules wrong, uh, but we certainly have fun. So if you're interested in any of that, come along, give us a shout. Anyway, Joya 6. Summary. Really impressed as a show. Nice venue, clean, modern, lots of light. Probably is what you needed for 6 mil. Um, you could see the backers have put a lot of love into organising it. Uh, the two panels really kept your interest, give you something to focus on and go to above and beyond just going around talking to the games. Really nice having the focus on the scale and the niche. I'm going to talk about that later in a, uh, another video. And yeah, we had two, three hours there. Uh, Felt I could have spent longer. Um, I didn't buy anything. I'm not really six mil gaming at the moment. Um, but one of one of my colleagues, he bought some uh, field three D prints, slightly bigger than six mil, uh, for for, for uh, some game he was doing. I bet he just wanted some ruined cars for. But anyway, that's. My video on uh, Joya 6. I've got another video coming on Claymore 2024, uh, which I've been to, and uh, some videos I've been able to start coalescing my thoughts on war game shows in general. But anyway, hope you're having a great time right now, and I look forward to chatting to you in another video. Bye for now. Bye bye.